Melissa was born 30 years ago. Four days after she was born, she went into a coma and was diagnosed with having a rare metabolic disorder called propionic acidemia. She looked like a normal baby to me, you know. There was definitely a lot of fear, denial. I think a lot of parents go through denial that this is really real. Organic acidemias are a rare genetic metabolic disorder where a number of different enzymes are not working properly, not broke down properly, and can cause your blood to get very toxic and cause brain damage if it's not corrected immediately. Currently, the only treatment is a low protein diet. 30 years ago, there was not the internet, so you were really at the mercy of whatever the doctors told you about this disorder, which was limited. Within a year, I found out about the Organic Acidemia Association. I joined to receive the newsletter to hear about other families' stories. The Organic Acidemia Association is a parent support organization where we try to empower families with information and awareness. When I took over about 22 years ago, I created a website for OAA and was able to open up to families all over the world to connect and share what it's like to live with a child with organic acidemia. As an organization, we rallied our families through our network to get involved in their states to add our disorders to the newborn screening panel. Now, currently, most of our organic acidemia disorders are added to all 50 states. I think what excites me the most about rare disease treatment and research is we finally have gotten the attention of the medical community to try to understand what's involved with our disorders, to come up with some new treatments. What motivates me in working in drug development for rare diseases is the connection with the patients and the patient groups, such as Organic Acidemia Association. There's a lot of positivity and resilience that comes from these patient communities. What I believe uh, that makes uh, the rare disease community special is uh, the fact that uh, it's a very open and collaborative. Having the perspective from the patients is uh, a key uh, factor for us, uh, understanding what they need and uh, helping them in understanding what we can do with this therapy. I think uh, it's uh, a huge benefit for uh, both of us. And that really helps us consider how to design the overall drug development program. Using messenger RNA, we can finally start to consider treating some of these disorders where before they were considered too difficult to treat. Today, Melissa is 30 years old. She has her own apartment downstairs. She's quite involved with Special Olympics and she works four days a week at a day program, so she brings home a paycheck. She's very proud of that. She perseveres and she is a, a true inspiration for me.